Hey guys, Rob Avis here. Just uh, heading towards my car and uh, thinking about swales because we're in the springtime. And while I was gone over the weekend, we had this massive snow dump here in Calgary, which is really actually quite common. We uh, get these strange April snow dumps because it's not warm enough for it to rain, April rains, and so we end up getting all this snow, which you can see right here. And what's crazy is that that could very well represent how much? Uh, almost 10% of our annual rainfall right there. So we get about 300 uh, millimeters of rain per season and that's probably equivalent to about uh, 20 millimeters of rain so not quite 10 percent but pretty close and it's all just draining down right now so the snow got piled up in heaps like this over here and we're just letting it drain and so people around the world will in the permaculture movement either love or hate swales and i've made a couple videos about this in the past but Basically, it's not about liking or not liking swales. It's about water harvesting. And there's only so many ways that you can water harvest, and that's gonna be more dictated based on your ecosystem and not your bias. And so I would agree that swales in some locations are better than others. But here, when we get these strange snow events, that can be 10, 20% of our annual rainfall, Swales are a super valuable tool that we can use here because when this snow melts, the ground underneath it is typically frozen, which means that we get very little infiltration. I mean, this is really the sound of lost opportunity right here. Check this out. That's opportunity and possibility draining away, and that's happening everywhere where our landscapes are frozen and we've eliminated wetlands which used to be the swale or the pond of the past which were largely eliminated during the time when European settlers were coming over here and replacing it with agriculture, conventional agriculture. And so swales are one technique that we have in our back pocket that is frost What's the word I'm looking for? Indifferent. So swales don't care if there's frost in the ground because they're gonna hold all that water back. And in fact, swales, a buddy of mine, Dakota Cohen, who has a farm just north of here, cohenfarm.ca, has shown that his swales help to thaw the ground a little bit quicker, therefore allowing more of that infiltration to occur. So next time you're designing your property, recognizing that in permaculture, we use that modality, water access structures. It's really important to be non-dogmatic about the type of water harvesting feature you're going to use and look at all of them in as pragmatic of an approach as you possibly can. And just to be the devil's advocate, key line with this type of an environment, while it might be really effective in the summertime, will not work for this particular type of moisture event. And in fact, I would argue that key line doesn't even work very well in our ecosystem because our soils have so much carbon in it that when we get rainfalls in the springtime, we don't have any runoff. Our soils can absorb all of the moisture that's coming in through that springtime event. And so it's really important, and I say this in my permaculture design course, that you have a matrix of water harvesting opportunities, where they're used, what they're good for, what their liabilities are, and where you can go get more information about that specific water harvesting function. And I really think this idea of being non-dogmatic about how we go about harvesting water is really, really important. So if you found that interesting guys, I have a whole bunch of additional videos in this YouTube channel just on water harvesting, way more coming up this season. And um, if you're interested in learning how to create designs that really leverage the 
benefits of water and get a better grasp of how to understand how water interacts with your property, um, you'll want to check out ContourMapGenerator.com because contour maps are probably one of the best tools that we have as designers to determine whether or not or how water is interacting with our property. Just as I'm walking by here, look at this. This is a little basin right here, which is equivalent to a, uh, a rain garden and it's a low point. And so this is a perfect example of how swales can be used to harvest snow water in an environment where the ground is frozen. So hopefully you found that valuable and you got something useful out of it. Give me a like. If there's specific content on water harvesting you want me to cover, leave it in the comment section below. And I'll put a link to that contour map generator in the comment section below, which will allow you to go and get a contour map of any property on earth. And then you get access to our open source design tools, which leverages Google Earth Pro. Thanks so much guys, we'll see you in the next video.